to another jam-packed, luxurious happy hour. And we're getting ready to head into the weekend. And we are doing a remote happy hour on my end. I am down about 15 miles from Myrtle Beach. I'm at a resort here, an RV resort. Carla and I came down. And it's a, a sort of a special deal. We did we made this reservation about a year ago. And yeah. our camper is a grand design. And so this is a rally for grand design. So everything here is based on that. And we've never been to one of these, so I don't know what the deal is. But what are what is that? So uh, we don't have RVs, you know, and a lot of the people with us tonight, and thank you all for joining us, don't know what a grand design uh, get together. I don't know how many, I don't know how, it's a company. I don't know how many companies actually do this, but when we bought our camper, we bought it from a, a guy down in Alabama and him and his wife had just retired and, and they had yeah. bought a big, huge one and sold us this one. And so they're traveling all over the country. And so Carla's Facebook friends with them and we keep track of them. And they keep, they pop up at these, things. it's a grand design, you know, uh, our, what do you call it? It's a rally. Yes, yeah, a rally. It's a grand design rally. And it's just, they're all different models, but it'd be like saying. It's the same brand. It's yeah, the same it's like, brand. It's like you had a Ford rally and you'd have all yeah. kinds of Fords there, but it's a Ford rally. Okay. Yeah. So ours is an Imagine and I'm looking and I'm seeing, so I'm seeing every model you can possibly, you know. And so best we can understand, there'll be like seminars and a lot of stuff. Of course, there'll be vendors here that'll be, you know, selling their stuff. They've got a DJ tonight spinning some tunes. Tomorrow night, there's a big country band. Um, somebody said, the, the guy when we came in said something about tonight was burrito night. You know anything about burrito night? I want to investigate. I want to investigate burrito <laughs> night. <laughs> I, I, I've I'm got my cool. name all over it. I'm still uh, waiting for the uh, Toyota Avalon rally. You know? so, so far, that has not happened for me. Well, it's hard well, to first, find a place first of all, let, let's just say, yeah. Uh Yeah. <laughs> Sherry is off tonight. She does so much. And she's, uh, I, you know, I can make something up. I don't really know what she's doing. But she, I'm sure she's taking care of her husband, uh, Kevin. I hope, I hope she's, she's resting getting a little bit better. Yeah. I yeah, she's resting. And, but, uh, but here's you know, the deal: she's not yeah. here. She's not here to stop us. So no, right. whatever tangent we go right. on, Heather, do your oh, best. Yeah. Do your best, Heather. Right. I'll do my best. <laughs> Bob, Bob and Lamar and Heather un un uh, encumbered tonight. We can say anything we want. So my wife just came through the door about an hour and a half ago, and she was at the dentist, and she's just had this thing right here annoying her and she has never had a cavity in her life not of one course. Oh of, co I, of course of she, course she has never had a cavity but something was bothering her and i'm going well that's probably a cavity <laughs> you, you know you know a lot of sugar and wine you know have you ever thought about that because i have had some cavities and and i'll i'll tell you why you know in just a minute here so she had gone to an orthodontist or, I don't know, uh, uh, an oral surgeon. They said, oh, yeah, that thing there, we're going to have to uh, <clears throat> put you under and do, you know, this and that. And we're going to have to uh, go in there. And so she went to a regular dentist and it was um, a woman and she had never been with her before. And Mary's explained to her, you know, this is kind of bothering me right over here. And the woman, the dentist, um, pulled up, up and she said, yeah, it's kind of like a little splinter from the bone in your jaw. What? And Mary said, what? <laughs> she goes, yeah. That's crazy. She said, and then she said, you want me to pull it out? And Mary said, mm, what do you mean? She goes, I'll just pull it right out. Yank it right out. And Mary said, whoa. Okay. No Novocaine, no nothing. Mary took her um, water bottle and put it between her legs and just bore down. And, and this dentist took it and yanked it right out like that. A splinter Pioneer bone. Woman. Pioneer woman. Oh, my God. And, uh, uh, and that was it. That was it. If they, if they would give me Novocaine to get my teeth clean, I'd take it. I, I'm, terrified. <laughs> I'm terrified. I know. I'm terrified. Oh, God. I know. God, you know, growing up, 
you know, everybody knows your teeth now are so important. But growing up, it was like my mother was a dental hygienist. And yet, you know, we didn't have any money and sometimes just didn't get over to the dentist and all. And when my old man owned the restaurant and bar, for some reason, they didn't care if I'd go behind the bar and pull a Coke whenever I wanted to. Well, yeah. when you're 12 years old, you want to a lot. Yes. A lot. <laughs> so I'd pull a Coke and I'd go in, in the back of the restaurant and I'd put my hand into the uh, Devange shrimp uh, <laughs> container in the uh, walk-in freezer. And I'd throw those bad boys right in the fryer lighter and I'd watch them all fry right up, fry right up. And then I'd get them out and they're all fried and uh, throw some salt on them. And I'm eating them. I'm eating them. Well, they're pretty salty. What do I have to do? Go back into the bar and get another Coke. And I was drinking so much Coke that I, I got a couple of cavities. Uh, today, my teeth are great. You know, y'all take care of your teeth. But when I look back as a kid on the crap that I ate, I don't know how I'm, I'm not. I don't have false teeth today. I just when I was a kid, when I was a kid going regularly to a dentist, just that was not even on the radar. It was not on the radar. So finally, one day, my mom says, I need to take you to the dentist. I said, what for? She said, well, you've never been to the dentist. So I got to take you to the dentist. So I don't have a, a toothache. Doesn't matter. You got to go. You got all your full teeth in. How, how old are you? How old are you? I was probably nine or ten. Yeah. And she said, you've had all your teeth. You know, everything's good to go. You've got all your full teeth in and we, we need to go. Oh, oh no. Oh, we uh, lost can, people's yeah, movie critic. Happen, folks. Let's, um, let's give them a, a moment to get back. I want to say hi to Regina Denton. Mary's one tough lady. I have a very small cavity filled without any meds. Whoa, I cannot do that. I cannot do that. You know, I think dentistry has just gotten so much better. It's it's just not as uh, much of a horrifying experience <laughs> anymore. We'll be back with Lamar from just outside of Myrtle Beach, hopefully in just a moment here. Now, uh, while we wait for him, Heather, you have a friend right oh. behind you that we would like to meet. Hang on. You have... I'll, I'll get Frank. All right. His name is Frank, everybody, and he is a gecko. And this is the new uh, pet that has been introduced into Heather's life. I have not seen Frank before, but I'll tell you this. I love his name. I love his name. I'm oh, he, back. You're back. Hang on a second. We're, I, I'm no going to come back to you with the dental story. but No, I want to see the gecko. I want to see the here's, gecko. Here's the gecko. Is this Frank? Oh, Frank. There's his tail. Yeah. He's a very nice guy. He might bite me. Um, he's never bitten he me before. He might bite you. He might, but he's never bitten me before. But there is a cat right here, so he's probably. Oh, little... yeah. He could get a little upset. Yeah. Is I he freaked out? I don't care about him. He cares more about. Um, he cares more about them than they do about him. Could he but fight the he cat? Thinks. How would that happen if they fought the cat? Who would win? Oh no, never mind. Cat always wins. Cat, yeah. you can nothing can beat a cat. I think yeah, he would bite the I hell think, out of him, no. I um, think the cat would win. Yeah. yeah, yeah right. Oh, look yeah. at this. Look at this. Oh. I, bring him to the camera a little bit more because I can't quite see his colors oh in it. Look gosh. at that. Oh he's not gosh. as green as the Geico uh uh gecko. Yeah, no, he's I, a different um what? I forget what they call their specific color patterns, but he's very, and they, so they taste everything. They lick you constantly. So that's what he's doing. He's not biting me. He's just licking me. And um, then they rub their belly on things to basically get a feel for how, you know, different textures and stuff. Yeah. Watch your nose. Well, you know, me and the gecko, we got a lot in common. Me and the gecko, <laughs> I like to rub my belly on things. I like to taste things. I think we're, I think yeah. we're good to go. <laughs> gecko like. And uh, he's really, he's really funny. He shakes his when he's hunting crickets. He'll shake his little tail just like a cat and snap them. Really? Um, does he? Does he walk around the uh, house by himself? Not by himself. No, um, that would be dangerous. But he he'll walk around on the desk when I'm sitting here, and if I start talking to like you know. You guys on the phone or on these calls, yeah. he perks up back there and he's like, let me out. Um, I hear you talking. 
Does he really? Yeah, because he... Now, why could, why could he not just walk around? Why is that dangerous? Because of the cats? cats? Because cats. of the cats, yeah. 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 Also, there are a lot of tiny holes in my house, and it's an older house, and he could get into something or get stuck, and I don't want... I don't want any of that to happen. I like yeah. Frank very much. He's a very nice guy. <laughs> how, how how old do they live to be a gecko? Um, you know, I've it, it's I've heard all over the place. I know someone that had one for ten years. I don't. Wow. Yeah, I think That's Frank is cool. about one or two. All right. Um, well, Frank, have a good life. You've got a good <laughs> you've got a good uh, a good mom there. All right. Brian, so I, so Brian, Lamar. Let me tell you, what? Brian, I see your question. We are yeah. at Sun RV Myrtle Beach, which is in Conway, about 15 minutes from the beach, and it is luxurious. Pay close attention to Facebook, and in the next couple of days, I'll be taking a lot of pictures and stuff and let you know. Super, super nice. And all of the places, but we're, we're on a drive through spot, which means there's no backing up, and every one of them is level. I got out. Everything was level. So it's, What's, it's What are the crowds place. like? At, at uh, Myrtle Beach now, because this is uh, spring break. Well, <laughs> see, I'm not at spring. I, I, I'm at, I'm about spring break at Myrtle Beach, like Miami is about spring break. I don't want nothing to do with all that. Right. But uh, we're probably gonna, we're going to ride down. I think tomorrow, and check out some stuff. Um, now, this place here has 700 and something campsites, and basically they're all full, all full. Are you kidding? 700? 700 sites. Yes. Holy cow. I that's enormous. Yes, it's huge. It's like that's like a like a big hotels. Um oh, boy, that's a good business. That's what a very are you good talking business. about. Yes. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's a great so what business. are you gonna be checking out? Like the co eds on the beach? No, no, I, I never look at another woman. Do a Carla. Look at another one. I never yeah. Carla says no, I never look at another woman. So I'm not yeah, I'm not checking out nothing like that. So. That was an awkward thing for me to say. I didn't know Carla was right there. I apologize to you, man to man. <laughs> so what were we talking about? Um, dentistry with you as dentistry, a child. Dentistry, yeah, yeah. The so, about, about, so she takes me, yeah. about, I was about nine, maybe nine or 10. She takes me to the dentist. I go in and I sit down and I had 13 cavities. 13. Now they weren't big. But I had thirteen cavities. Oh boy! In, in your in your defense, if the age of nine is the first time you've been, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I've never been. Now let me say this: after I got those filled, I've never had another filling in my life. Never. Is that right? Tell me yes, why. Yes. Because, because that I was brushed my because I brushed my teeth. But my dentist, he's retired now. But my dentist told me. Now, I don't know if you ever heard this or not. He's a dentist. There's two types of saliva, okay? If you're saliva, there's a kind that you get hardly, you know, you don't get you don't get cavities, but you're subject to gum disease. Then there's another saliva, and the chemicals in it or whatever is you never have to worry about gum disease, but you have to be careful for cavities. You ever heard that? No, He's but you're bringing the sexy, so don't stop. Go ahead. <laughs> But no, no, because and it wasn't like it was a terrible thing. I mean, you know, but I didn't want to do that again. So I've been very careful for the rest of my life. You know, I've cracked a tooth. I've had a cap. I've had stuff pulled, but I've never had another yeah. cap. Never. It, it's so it's so important. It's so um, important. Someone asked me a question about how Frank came to me. Frank belonged to um, someone that I know who had could no longer care for him and wanted him to have more. Uh, of life. Yeah. 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 Very good. Well, that's the way to do it. Yeah. yeah we have exactly. somebody who said, uh, Marlene Clegg said, I had 20 cavities, Lamar. It taught me to floss. Thank you. It taught me to floss. Yeah. Oh, no, no. My mother didn't. I'm not a flosser. I'm not a flosser. And my dentist asked me one day, he says, you know, you never have any cavities. Do you floss? And I said, no. And the reason I don't have cavity is I don't irritate my teeth will floss. I don't do it. Flossing <laughs> is a good thing. You can't be. I know it is a good thing. I just, I'm lazy and I'm not going to do it. What was that noise? What's, is somebody backing into you? What's going on? No, 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 no. Somebody, somebody blowed a horn or something. It's not yeah. like everything's always quiet at the campground. I want to ask Except you about that. I want to ask you about that. 700 RVs. 
So what's the, is there hell being raised? No. Are there fights no. that you hear? Nope. nope, nope. Everybody parks. Everybody knows it's the unspoken rule. After 10 o'clock, no noise. There's no noise after 10. And, 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 so, I, and so if there is, they have somebody who comes around. Oh, and yeah, says, they got yeah, they got security people right around in golf carts or whatever. But yeah. I mean, I've never. No, 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 no. Everybody's very. Just don't, the camping crowd. I'm probably I'm probably the most worst, terrible, whatever camper. I mean, everybody else. I've never met a bad person camping. It's ridiculous. They're always nice and they're they're very generous and they're I don't know. What, what are you saying that you're the worst? Can't you're the one of the nicest people that I know? I, I know, but I'm just telling you, you the people I meet camping, so you the, can the, you know park it with ease. The, the the people that I meet are just so 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 nice. We've just never yeah. met a bad person. They're always helpful and so yeah, nobody gets out of line. There's nothing. Uh -huh. I, I'm how about, you know how about the swingers? How about the swingers there? Are there swingers? Right there? Across our, yeah, Carla said we would not know anything about that. But now, once we found out about the pineapple deal and I told that story, my son, him and his wife, we never have a holiday or anything that they don't send us pineapple of some that, sort. Well, you give the story behind the story so people know this. I never knew this. And a lady that is, was a listener, she spoke up when I was talking about camping. And she said, because I had flamingos. I had these pink flamingos that I would put out. And somebody said, well, flamingos, if you put out flamingos, that means you might be up for some party and you might be up to swap. I mean, it's like that type of thing. And I'm like, what? So a lady calls up and she goes, no, it's a pineapple. If you are in a campground and you see a upside down pineapple, like a plaque or something like that, and it's upside yeah, yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. They're ready to go. I've never wow. seen an upside down pineapple. I never have. I don't right. know if it's, I don't know. Yeah, that but it could be a legend. I but know. It could be. But once we tell that, that story, if, if 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 Jared comes to my house, him and his wife, if they come to our house for anything, after they leave, somewhere yeah. in the house, we're going to find a cardboard pineapple. <laughs> this has been going on forever. It's been going on forever. They, they, yeah. They keep on about that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So people have been commenting on the hat. That's that's the hat, and it does work for you. I have to say, I love that. I love that. Yes. Yeah, I've I mean, always wanted to wear a hat. Yeah, Max wears a hat all the time. Max, Every day. Max looks so good in a hat. He wears yeah. a baseball hat, but when he goes out, and he's the only man I know. He's the only man I know that can wear a fedora. And not look like a dumbass. Yeah, he, he looks does. Fantastic. He, yeah. it's like he looks like Frank Sinatra when he puts that fedora. Yeah, on. yeah. Well, it's not the Yeah, yeah. but him. yeah, he looks great in it. He does yeah, look he great. Does. In it. So does. it's uh, it's springtime, everybody. It's springtime, right? Yeah, and, it's supposed uh, to be. It's a little cold here, but it's supposed to be springtime. Yeah, well, I mean that's part of spring. It goes warm and then it goes cold again. It keeps backing up until it really clicks in. Uh, the pollen where I live is just brutal. I mean, it's it's at, literally it coats cars overnight. Oh, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's not everywhere, but I, I mean, in some places yeah. it hasn't even you know happened. But where I live, uh, the coast here, uh, it has, and and it and it's really really awful. You know what I have? I do every year. This is I, I never even mentioned this before. But um, how far away from the first day of spring? We're just a few days away, right? I think it was no. actually Tuesday. It was, it was the nineteenth. It was the nineteenth. Oh, what for the ninth? So we, we are in day this year. Yes, we're we're yeah. in the equinox. We're in the equinox. I go for a walk with the dog, and I look around on a nice day like we had today after work, and I just say, I just say, thank you, God, for another spring that I can see. Yeah, and I really mean that. I mean, there is something about spring that is so rejuvenating. And I think part of it is if you were brought up someplace that was just as cold as could be, and you get that first week where it breaks, Ooh. and yeah. you can smell the uh, chemical fertilizer, for some reason that was an appealing thing to me, in people's lawns that they put out you know, as, as the new growths come up. It was just so rejuvenating. And, and it may be something that people that come from colder weather feel more than somebody who lives like in yeah. Florida. Yeah. 
Yeah, because it's not that much different. But no, yeah. there's no. something about it. There, there is something about it. I had to cut grass last week. I had to cut grass. Last Did you really? Week. First time. Yeah, I didn't wow. want to. But Carla, when Carla takes Darby out, which now that she's hurt, got the hurt leg, Carla doesn't really. I have to do that because it doesn't work out. Now we have we but have Carla uh, takes Darby out. We have Sherry French. No spring here. Got eight, eight inches of snow today and 10 inches coming on Saturday. I don't know where she lives. Where in where in the world would that be? Maine had snow today. Linda uh, Poirier just said they had snow today. Um, oh, my gosh. Yeah. What an amazing country. Yes. <laughs> when you get right down to it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That is cool. That is very, very cool. So are you going to go into Myrtle Beach itself? Not no, p- People who are on the West Coast don't know, or maybe even in Texas don't know about Myrtle Beach. But I think Myrtle anybody... Beach, Grand Strand, it's got how many miles? I mean, it's a huge... The coastline, the beach is long. It's long. Mid, I mean, it's, Midwesterners yeah. uh, and East know about, about Myrtle Beach. Canadians know about Myrtle Beach because they'll come Canadian. down here. And, uh, Canadians love it. They come down here. And I always think, how many beaches do you pass on your way down here from Canada? I, I mean, you got to be passing a bunch of beaches. No, 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 no. Myrtle Beach or Hilton Head, those are the first beaches they hit. There's yeah. no beaches. There's lakes. There's lakes. But, you know, where I live, there's Ontario cars all over the place. Yeah. Myrtle, Myrtle Beach, you will see Canadians in late February in the ocean. On a, oh, yes. on a reasonable yeah. day. The snowbirds, they come down. I mean, that's what keeps Myrtle Beach alive in the right. wintertime. It's Canadians. Absolutely. You know. Canadians and people from uh, England, they come over hoping to be able to play golf because there's a lot of golf at Myrtle yeah. Beach, right? Oh, yeah. Isn't it, isn't, it, isn't it more golf courses per square mile than any other state? Is that true? It's a crazy it, amount of uh, It's a crazy amount of golf. Of course, it will be. It, it, it very well may be. That's right. It could be. So, um, I think I've heard. I so, think I've heard. so what, el- what else is going on? Um, we, we've touched on the um, Royals on the show a little bit. Um, I still can't figure it out. I can't figure out what's going on with it's Kate. getting crazier and crazier and crazier. Every day. Every time you, every time you pull it up, you know, and they they, they, they they could stop this. All they gotta do is put her in front of a microphone. Stop it. It's done. It's done. But either she won't yeah. do it or she can't do it. They I think they released today a picture of her doing one of her chores for charity or something. But it was but you still, don't know if it's real. You don't know if it's real. I know. It could be it could be two years old because she really doesn't age. Um yeah. apparently. All they'd have to do, you're right, is to put out a video that um, is obviously contemporary. I'm not saying take the London Times and hold up the London Times with the date on it. <laughs> with the you know, like, like somebody <laughs> who's kidnapped. Honestly, the TikTok sleuths might require that they do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just about. Yeah. Just I watched about. the thing today that somebody in the, uh, I, I think I was looking at the UK version of The Sun. And some yeah. uh, somebody from over there, one of their people said, I'll tell you what, when she shows up, all of you people are going to feel horrible because when she shows up, you're going to know that you were so wrong and what she's been doing is so important. Is she a spy? It's, I'm not going to feel bad. She's been gone for a long time and not being seen. I mean, I'm not going to feel bad about it. I hope she does show up and I hope she has been doing whatever she's doing. But, you know, we don't yeah. know. Yeah. 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 I don't follow the Royals that much, but this this does seem, and part of it is because Sherry brings it up every day. Oh, she sure. doesn't follow the Royals <laughs> a lot. Um, but it does seem kind of strange that mm-hmm. all they have to do, and she doesn't have to be running laps around Buckingham Palace. No. She just has to walk into a room, sit down, smile, and say, I know you've been concerned about me, but I want you to know I had a procedure we are, uh, you know, private as people, and I'm doing fine. That's all she has to do. 
what, whatever her procedure was is none of my business. It is yeah. none of my business. But the fact that she disappeared off the face of the earth after having been seen for years, crazy conjecture. I'm sorry. It is. And just put a stop to it. Put a stop to it. it it's also, you know, part of it is just the tonnage of the Harry and Meghan thing. Mm. And then Andrew and all of that craziness that uh, it's imploding. The whole thing's imploding, and they can't. Yeah. Do anything to stop yeah. It. What are we going to say? There's a larger spotlight on the royals recently, and I I do think that it has a lot to do with the Harry and Meghan, the the book, and and you know Charles and Camilla ascending to the throne and everything. But there is a larger spotlight on everything that's happening. Where is it? you know, maybe 10 years ago, we wouldn't have paid so much attention to where Kate was. That's so true. Do that, you know what so we true. hear the least about? The very least about is Charles and Camilla. This is a man that has become the king. What, when do you like, nobody, I mean, he, he had some health situations and whatever, but nobody even talks about them. He's the king and he's being overshadowed by his one of his crazy sons and his other son's wife that has disappeared. It's like his, he's waited all his life to be king. And nobody's talking about him being king. Well, well, I think part of the reason they're not talking about him, though, is because of the cancer. That's true. I mean, That's true. People want to, you know, be respectful and in a whole hope for him. If we're fans of his, and I think most British people are. I think most people yeah. are. I mean, obviously, he's made yeah. a mistake in all of that. Um, but I think people are saying, oh, my God, uh, what is he, 74, something like that now? Mm -hmm. And and he's got um, he's got cancer yeah. that he's oh, battling. Right. He seems to be doing OK, fighting it and all. But, you know, they're saying is William, you know, now sort of, you know, measuring the drapes. And then this happens with his wife. And, you know, the, the, the uh, most interesting thing I saw was a comment from a journalist i don't even know if i want to call him a journalist but somebody that works for one of the tabloids and they said here's the deal our deal with the royal family is you get the money and then you pose all right we're not going to say anything about you know the country giving the you money life or, yeah because you you bring a lot of money in they bring in way more money than they're given Yes, because of yeah. tourists. But then the deal is you pose. We get to get pictures of you or talk about you and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And that is kind of the way it is. You got to keep the interest built up so people will come over there. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I, I so, can't imagine going there without going and seeing all of the royal stuff. I mean, I, I, when I took the kids over there, changing of the guard, we're standing in the middle of it. I mean, you do it. That's what you do. That's exactly what you do. Sherry and I did, uh, <laughs> we, we, we took some of our, what's funny? Did somebody say something funny? So um, apparently Billy Prevett said, we love you, Sherry. It says you are watching. <laughs> so I'm just giggling at Sherry watching. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Hey, Lamar, let's start talking about our favorite Corvettes. Shall we do that? I love the 62. I wish I had one. Yeah. 63 and a half. That's the one. 63 That's and a half. One for you. Yeah. Um, let, me, yeah. let me just say, uh, we're giving away some very brand new Bob and Sherry stuff. Yes. Yes. Um, so I think five people are going to be getting messaged and I'll be picking some winners this af this evening or early tomorrow for our very first edition of the Bob and Cherry Flasks. I don't have a picture and I don't have one to show you, but they're really cool. I I'm going to send a message out to Tony because I'm hoping he's watching this. If we have a Bob and Cherry Flask, I know that Bob received a coffee cup and well, a flask. How, how do I not have this? I need to have this flask so that I can give it my seal of flask approval. I don't know how I, how I, how how I don't have one. I really don't know how I don't have one. It's our fault. One. We we fell down, but it it will be remedied. It will be remedied. <laughs> Tony must be watching because uh, he just sent me a picture of the flask. <laughs> oh, what does it look like? Here we go. It is clear, and it has I believe that's silicone around the edge. <sighs> 
But it doesn't, doesn't say nice. Lamar. It you don't have to say Lamar. I just need to be. See, no, this is cool. It's, it's clear. So then I know if it's brown liquor or if it's clear liquor. It says, shut up. It's only water. <laughs> <laughs> I can, love I, that. can I tell you a flask story? Um, we live at the beach and there's a place not far from us that the tourists go to. And it you walk, it's a bar and you walk into the bar and there are like 20 of those. They, they kind of look like a Dairy Queen dispenser, but yes. they're, they're margarita things. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And there's there's like watermelon and then there's lime and you know, there's there's 20 of them. And of course, there's alcohol in it too. So when Mary uh, has like friends come down, they take the bikes out and they get on the bikes and they go over to this place. And she goes, "You know, it was really fun, but um, I, I think they, I think they kind of dilute the uh, alcohol because I, I shot down three of those bad boys, and it was nothing. The next day, they went back." And she had come up with a flask. And I said to her, are you telling me you're taking a flask into a bar? <laughs> to juice it up. To juice it up. I to get juice that. it up. I said, are you telling me that? And she said, I'm so ashamed. I'm so ashamed. But she took it. She the, all, the only time I've ever used a flask was my bachelorette party. And um, yeah. That they've never needed one since then, but you know, they they were they weren't taking care of you. With the uh, the house wasn't taking care of you enough. It was for in between. <laughs> it was for in between. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Got it. A little fortification, yep. as it was. Yeah. Yeah. I, I love I the idea of the clear flask, though. That way, I can see. Like as somebody just pointed out, you can see when yeah. you need a refill, and it's true. Right. Yeah, you know? and the cops can see what it is too when they pull you over. It's not a problem for the cops. We're not it gonna says it's only water, though. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, well, that's a lot. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what do you have plans as far as travel goes with the RV? Do you have you have a summer that's sort of planned out for? Yeah, we're. Um... Yeah, we're going up to uh, North Carolina in yeah. a couple weeks. We're going up to uh, Pigeon Forge. Well, that'll be in May. Oh, May. Yeah, uh, we're going to North Carolina. What part of North Carolina? Alex, we're going to go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going. We're going to. They have just redone. Alex, uh, my, uh, our daughter Alex, lives right on uh, Lake Wiley, and they just redid this camp situation. And I mean, it's beautiful. And so Carla's got us set up up there, and we go up and. Uh, and go to York and we set up the camper stuff. So they bring the grandkid over and we get to keep him and play around and they hang out with us and but, stuff. But when are you going to do the thing that you see on the insurance ads where, you know, there's these mountains behind you or the <laughs> desert and you're up there, you got the captain's hat on, you know what I mean? And the sunglasses and you're driving along and it's, and it's gorgeous. Oh, there's, there's Yosemite. Or, or there's Utah. Look at that. Are you going to do one of those? How could you not want to do one of those? Oh, I would love to do one. I would love to do one. But we work. Remember? We work. <laughs> I mean, that's the deal. Well, I wouldn't call we it work. that. But, uh, you know, it seems you, like you have it. to show up. You're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah, but exactly. couldn't, you, couldn't, couldn't you do the show on the road a little bit? Is that yeah, possible? Yeah, I'm, well, we're talking about we're I mean, talking about are now. Well, we, well, I'm this is this is working. This is sort of an experimentation right here to see how this works. Yeah. Um, yeah. Something about getting one with an Sometimes you don't have great uh, internet. That's that's one of the problems. Yeah, yeah, that's true. The other thing is the other thing is yeah. to actually do the show like we do the show when we're all in there talking to each other and whatever. So since I got a bigger truck, uh, <laughs> you know, it's funny that we're talking so about why can't you do this on the road, and we're losing him right now. Yep. Do we still true. do we still have you? <laughs> this is exactly why that can't be done. Yeah. 
you just you just don't know um you just don't know how much uh you're going to get as far as wi-fi goes when you pull into a place listen to this hello it's billy privet from glasgow scotland this is what blows my mind about doing this and actually doing the bob and sherry show because we have people that listen all over the way all over the world it is just amazing that there's somebody from Glasgow, Scotland, with all of us tonight, with uh, our friends from upstate New York, from Oregon, and all of the other places that I'm that I'm seeing. Yeah, it's what a it's thrill! So, it's so to be awesome. able to pull them together. There he is. He's back again. So, so we can talk to Glasgow, Scotland, but we can't talk to right. Conway, South Carolina. <laughs> Well, they're they're just watching, so they they don't yeah. have to really connect like that. Yeah. Yeah. But do you do you and Carla have a, a dream to take it? You yes. know, if there were a couple of weeks, three weeks off, or whatever, you know, yes. uh, we get somebody to fill in for you to take it to. As an example, I have a friend of mine who has an RV, and they took it to the coast. Uh, they're from Florida, and they took it to the coast of Oregon because Whoa. that he's never been there before and That's drove as far the coast as you could go. Oregon. From Florida to yeah. Oregon, that's as far yeah. as you can right. Go. Exactly, and he and he said it was fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do want to do that, but I think we we want to get something a little bit bigger than what we've got. Which is this is a great. This is absolutely great. But the moment we got the truck, the moment we bought the truck that would make pulling this like I'm pulling a lawnmower going down the road, Carlos like. God, now we could get like a fifth wheel. Now we could get. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, but but some of these, some of these we've looked at. We have been looking at them. Some of these have like a room where you could have like your grandkids and stuff, but they have a desk and some stuff. So you could actually have. Yeah. So I don't know. Somewhere down the road, I'd like to do that. Okay. All right. I've got it. I can't imagine my grandchildren in an RV with me. I'm just going to be honest. I think that oh, no. would be ours, all tight. of ours are a little bit young, but once they get up, I think that'll be great. Cause yeah, listen, this is the cool part. When you're in the campground, what you're going to see here. Right. Is kids riding bikes all over the place and nobody's right. really worried because every I saw cool. that when, when we did the Lamar barbecue. About what was yes. that? that was almost a year ago? That was one yes, of the things that impressed me more than anything else. That there were kids totally free riding their bicycles. There was like a fishing hole. I mean, I thought it was an Andy and May of Mayberry. I mean, it was really cool. So that that's something that you see. This may much be the everywhere. last place. Yeah. A campground is probably the last place that you could take a group of kids, put them on bicycles, and not worry about it. This this is one of the last places that that could happen. And it's very cool. Yeah. Now, Very how about how about uh, are are there are because obviously you've looked into you know what the RV life is. Are there RV um, um, clothing optional places where you can you can pull up and, <laughs> uh, and everybody's naked at, at the RV place? There's no kids. You know? There's probably some places like that, but they won't allow me in <laughs> 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 because it's not optional for me. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I, I there can't. Has, there I has there's that. cruises now. I'm sure they are because the cruises. You know they have cruises that are that are absolute nudist cruises. Have you you seen that? I did, right? I didn't know that really. Yes, Heather, back me up. You seen this? I, I have there seen are cruises and where it's, for it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. What? Yes. Not carnival. Not car. No, 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 no. It's a separate deal. And I mean, everybody's in on the deal. Wow. But I don't know of any kind of RV park. I'm trying to think about that. I don't know about. To have that um, confidence, you know. Yeah. Oh, could yeah. never be me. Could never be or, me. Or, or you just don't care, you know. I mean, there are people that they just, I mean, you can see some people the way they dress, you know, and they just go. All right, I know these pants are too tight, but I just don't care. There is a freedom in that, and yeah. I admire those people yeah. very much. Yeah. Well, yeah. I not care what anyone too. thinks. Yeah. 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 I there's, just wonder yeah, on, yeah. on the nude crew on the oh the nude cruise. That's a pretty good. That's a pretty good. Uh, hook. But they all but um, but but on the nude cruise, you have to wear clothes in the dining 
a situation. That's what I was going to That seems like everybody a fair went, place to require. Yeah. 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 Everybody has clothes on in the, at the dining. Center. I don't want to be in the midnight buffet in line. Ooh. Ooh. You know, just, no, no. I don't think I want that at all. No. no. Yeah. I don't want to sit on any chairs either. <laughs> just standing the, the entire time. The entire that's time. Yeah, there's a chafing, there's a chafing situation there. And I don't I want to be doing all that. Well, maybe they give you like some sort of little thing to put down, right? A doorly? It just it just reminds me of the college dorm room couches, you know, that you just don't Ooh. sit on them ever. Ever. I have never had that experience because when I was in me college either. for those two years. I was working full time, so I never lived in a dorm. So yeah. what was, I've never heard of the college rule, don't sit on the communal couch. Yeah, because, I mean, you share dorm rooms, you share a room, right? So yeah. college kids that want to do stuff are going to go to the next available place if their roommate is uh, yeah. in the room. So you don't yeah. sit on the couches. In fact, don't go into like the study areas. Knock on every door first. <laughs> Carla um, and I are very glad that that does not apply to our five kids that went to college to learn and to study. <laughs> to not oh, yeah. do things. Yeah. See, they were like, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, 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 yeah. The only time it, they weren't it, studying, they were in prayer groups. And that's good. It's good. Right. Or at the library. Yeah. 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 Library, exactly. prayer groups. Yeah. Yeah. There was yeah. none of that. There was no yeah. couch. There was no couch situation. No, no, I no. I am We're too much of a germaphobe for that to ever have been an option for me. So <laughs> I was, was there a germaphobe um, like group that had their own house or something where everybody agreed that so, it was not going to get really kinky or nasty? I moved off of campus my junior year because yeah. of my experiences in sharing dorm rooms with, and these were other girls that I was sharing dorm rooms with, the <clears throat> bathrooms, um, and the the um, two months of the Chinese food in the box on their desk. Um, and yeah. then the four times I walked in on my roommate and her boyfriend, I just, you know, I was done with dorm room life. Yeah. But how about the pillow fights you all had in, in, your, in your underwear? You know, that, that always went on, jumping up and down on the beds of, in your underwear, course. the pillow fights. Yeah, of course, Bob, of course. Huh? <laughs> I, <laughs> no. I don't know if she was relaxing before. She's not relaxing. <laughs> she, is, <laughs> she just left the room. <laughs> She's saying, please go back to the Corvettes. Go back to the Corvettes. <laughs> I, I will no. say, you know, there's a fair amount of like pranking in college dorm rooms that go on, but it's not like anything crazy. You know, it's like you fill somebody's room with um, tinfoil and you cover every surface in the room with tinfoil or you plant grass in their keyboard. There's, it, it's nothing Okay, that's fine, but let's get back to the uh, pillow fights if we could do a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Heather, you have lost control of this I situation. Know. I know. I'm going to have to uh, call Sherry phone a friend. Get the lizard. Get the lizard. Get the lizard. <laughs> you know, that was the scene. That was a scene in Animal House. And I haven't seen Animal House in several years, but I was thinking about it the other day because it popped up, I don't know, on one of my feeds. And I thought to my, I was thinking about some of the scenes. I don't think they could release that movie today. Probably. As funny as that movie was, yeah. I mean, basically you had yeah. an underage girl involved with a college boy. You, you had, I mean, obviously the behavior was just terrible and, and, and everything. It was funny as could be, but it was so inappropriate. I don't, I don't know that you can get away with that today. What do you think? No, no, you no, no, you cannot. No, 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 no. Erica no, Wolf no, says, no. and here comes Uncle Creepy. <laughs> Uncle Creepy. Yeah. yeah, there's a whole lot of Uncle Creepies. <laughs> I'm I wish Sherry were here to call out Bob's filthiness. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> 
God. You know what this well, says? We held, it, it, we held it together for a while. I mean, we, yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. it got dark before it got crazy. So at yeah. least there's yeah. that. Yeah, the sun went down. For sure. She she's just been killing my fun for all these years. For 30 years, she has been killing my buzz. Cat Kane says, whatever you do, Bob, do not say the word panties. Don't do it, Bob. Don't do it. I don't know where that started, but they, they jumped. It started on me. with you saying the word. It's just a word. I don't like that word. It's just it. No. It, you're 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 uh Gender invented the word. I didn't, or, or, you know, Madison Avenue. I did not invent it. That's what women's underwear is advertised as. They're not advertised as bloomers. Dan Horse was in animal. Not <laughs> Ick. Kathy, it, yeah, Kathy from Madison. Yeah, it was, it was animal house. She is never going to miss one of these uh, Thursday night happy hours again. She's never gonna let you guys yeah. do this again, yeah. ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this, yeah. This has been fun. It will never happen again. But it's been great, though. It'll, it'll happen again. It'll happen. <laughs> <laughs> Susan Lane says many Friends episodes would raise eyebrows. It, you're right about that. I rewatched Friends recently, and they a lot of the stuff would raise eyebrows. Yes. Um, yeah. Can you yeah. can you remember any of the scenes? Because I, I watched Seinfeld the other day, and there were a couple of uh, scenes where I went, "Whoa!" Well, there I was, forgot you all were doing that. There were always like off color jokes, but like Ross dating his college student. Um, wow, that yeah. that would never happen now. That no, would you're not right. Be okay, um, and just. That, I mean, there was a lot of really weird stuff. And any time that, you know, Phoebe's talking about her, like, trauma, which we're more sensitive to now, the whole group just acts like she's insane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's... Well, yeah. You really can't judge. You really can't judge. Fantastic. I'm sorry. It sounds like Cher is singing right now in their later yeah. years. Lamar, you're you're uh, glitching uh, again. Yeah. You're you're, you're uh, going um, mechanical sounding. Yeah, we still see you, but yeah. um, I don't know if you want to uh, jump off and come back again. Anyway. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. No, I think you're up. I can hear you now, pretty good. Oh, folks, come this back. is just it's live. <laughs> It's the way it is, and uh, we have to appreciate it. Have you noticed that um, television has kind of, especially if you watch like cable news shows, they've kind of figured out how to get rid of these problems. They have the same problems we had for years, but I don't know if they installed, you know, television control rooms in people's houses, but they're they're doing it easier. Are you back now? Can you hear us? Yes, yes, I am back, and right. I apologize. This right. was an experiment. And, yeah, you know, that's fine. No, we'll no problem. Go, but, so but, we were talking is, about we were talking about women's panties just before you. Uh, no, we were not. We were talking about no, watching you. Seinfeld and some of these older shows. You can't judge because these shows were on the cutting edge. They were very funny. Very, we all laughed about them. Whatever. Now, just yeah. because society has changed the thought process and and come, become more enlightened or whatever. It's not their fault. They were being funny in a time when that worked. So, you know. Yeah, I, I yeah, sort of get judge. that. Yeah, you can't judge well, them on that. You can't. You, 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 you can judge it a little bit. There's that scene in the in Animal House where, and I don't remember both of the actors, but uh, the girl gets, she's the daughter of the dean. She gets incredibly drunk. Yep. And, uh, there's a college boy and the devil is on this side and the angel is on this side, you know, and it's, I don't think you could get away with that today. No, you can't get away with it today, but you're giving them a path point, though, because of the era. I am. I'm giving them a pass. Yeah. Now I don't watch it watching it because it's not, you know, it's not, it doesn't work today, but yeah. you know, on yeah, its own time, it uh, you know, I tell you, when I saw that movie, though, for the first time, I thought it was the funniest thing I'd ever seen. Absolutely. I thought it was hysterical. It oh, was yeah. No. So, no. so raunchy. 
I mean, it, it's even racist in a few uh, scenes there too. But anyway, my favorite movie still, yeah. um, as far as comedies go, I, I think the best comedy that was ever made was My Big Fat Greek Wedding. And I know that comes it's out of left good. field, but very good. when I very saw good. that for the first time, Sherry and I were on a trip to Alaska on a cruise ship and they had current movies and I had nothing to do one day. So I went to the movie. Uh, my ex was off doing whatever. And um, I sat through it and I just thought it's brilliant and it's so funny. I went back the next day and saw it again. I think creatively that and Bridesmaids, which I think is Absolutely yeah. one of the most fall down funny movies ever. Now there are yeah. classic comedies. You can go back into the 1930s with, you know, Spencer Tracy and uh, especially Cary Grant and um, Hepburn with uh, really the original rom-com uh, bringing up uh, baby. But if I just want to laugh, if I'm in a terrible mood, I go onto HBO and they have this area where they, I don't know, keep or cultivate old movies. I will pull up a Pillars, uh, Peter Sellers uh, Pink Panther movie and Return of the Pink Panther and Revenge of the Pink Panther. I am crying. I'm laughing so much at Inspector Clouseau. I just think it's they're the greatest comedies I've ever seen and they're slapstick and they're stupid and everything else, but it's the combination of his being. And I'm telling you, if you're watching us right now, find, um, the pink Panther strikes again, I think it is. And just watch it. Just say it's a different era. And the sight gags are just fall down on the floor. Funny. No, Peter Sellers was a genius at that point. It was a totally. Genius. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah, I loved him. Loved him. So um, what else can we say? We miss Sherry. I hope she's doing well tonight. And yeah. <laughs> um, Doc uh, was was very funny last week when we did sound checks. And um, usually he's the last one because he's not on that much to do a sound check. And then Max said, Doc, why don't you do the sound check first? And what did Doc say? Well, it's not Black History Month anymore, so I don't know why you would <laughs> drop the mic. Drop the mic. He did. He like, did. That's right. He really was. I want to let's say hi to some of our our uh, friends here. Crystal Magley. I'm in Bowling Green, Kentucky, not in a hot tub. Um, Pink Panther was hilarious. King Eng uh, Kim English. Uh, my favorite Pink Panther scene. Oh, I know the one. Um, Inspector Clouseau walks into a hotel. There's a Swiss guy there with a pipe, and there's a dog. And Inspector Clouseau looks down at the dog, and he says, Does your dog bite? And the man says, No. <laughs> it does not bite? No. And he goes down to pet it, and it bites his hand. I thought you said your dog did not bite. It is not my dog. <laughs> it, it, it's just... It's genius. It it's was stupid, those little but it's things. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, totally. And he's walking into a hotel and he's got his inspector trench coat on. And a guy is walking out and he says to him, a guy is walking toward him and he says, can I take your coat? And he takes it. And then the guy puts it on and he walks out of the hotel with a coat. You know? yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. It's just They're great. They were great. Genius. Genius. I've never stuff. seen those movies. Maybe I'll I'll take a look. I at mean, them. honestly, really, it's not your you, generation, you but you should. I think you would enjoy yeah. them. You just you just have you. to say it, it is a different time, like Lamar was talking about earlier with Animal House. It's a different time. Um, yeah. Things are not as sophisticated, but the artistry and the slap stick is just so brilliant yeah. that yeah. You, you have to yeah, let yeah. yourself go. You know, have a drink or have a, you know, a smoke or whatever and just let yourself go. And it's it's fantastic. The, the like, nudist it's scene shot in the years. dark. It, it has changed so many different ways. I mean, it, it continues to change. Yeah. And what the things that we talk about are going to be really different years from now. I mean, it's just 
right. chain. Exactly. So. All right. So, um, Heather, what are you doing this weekend? And Lamar, what are you doing this weekend as it approaches? I have no plans, and that's a good thing. I'm going to try to do some yard work. I need to get out and garden a little bit more. Yeah. Um, Ooh, I'm going yeah. to try to mow yeah. the lawn. <laughs> yeah. Good. And Lamar, you're going to be there well, for how many days? Carl and I are going to, uh, we'll be here till, uh, we're coming back like late Sunday night type of thing. Yeah. Um, and, 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 and the thing about it is it's going to rain for a couple of days, but you know what that means? Netflix, binge Netflix. That's what I'm going to be doing. I'm binging Netflix. And the movie review for tomorrow is the program. You need to binge that. Listen to the review. It's unbelievable. It really is unbelievable. We only have a few minutes left, but uh, basically what's it about, the program? <clears throat> you see these ads on TV that says, oh, is your son or daughter? Are they having a terrible time in school? Are they having substance abuse? Are they not following the rules? Yeah. Send them to us. We will get them straightened out and send them back. And you're thinking, man, that's great. It's not great. In this situation, it's not great. And the girl that had a terrible, terrible time at one of these schools made this documentary, and it's unbelievable. It really is. You did need you say, to see this. Did you say it's a documentary? Yes, it's a documentary. And the girl that made the documentary, yeah. Lived this. She lived it, and it's yeah. unbelievable. Because other program. It's was this it's was the really, school in the United States? Really yes. Yeah. Well, there, one guy yeah. owned them. There were twenty schools, and uh, sixteen of them, or eighteen yeah. of them, was in the United States. They were taking ninety million dollars a year, and parents had no idea what was going on. It's unbelievable. Whoa. Unbelievable. Oh my God. Need to watch. Worse, Need to watch. worse than an English boarding yeah. school that. Uh, Mr. Spencer went to. All right. Well, um, we're going to cut you yeah. loose, Lamar, because we're losing you a little bit. Go get yourself uh, no you know, a couple of burgers on the grill there. Have a good time. Say to Carla. Say hi to Carla for us. Great to All see right. you. I'll have fun it. in Myrtle Beach. Yeah. All right. See you later. We'll see you later on. And uh, Heather, have a good time gardening. I'm going to be doing the same thing. And thank you all very much for uh, joining us with the Bob and Sherry show. Sherry will be back probably with the next time we do happy hour. Yeah. Um, um, next we, next week's happy hour, I believe, will be on Wednesday. It'll be a true weird stuff. Oh, weird Wednesday edition. So that'll oh, be next cool. week. So it's it's Sherry. Does she have a guest or I is think Max? Uh, I think Max, Max is going to do it. Two of them. Yeah, they're yeah. partners. They're partners with that uh, that sort of subject matter. That should be fun. Very good. You did a great job, Heather. Thank you all very much for being with us. You mean so much to us. We we so appreciate. You're supporting the show. We have had, um, despite the fact that uh, you can see some of the technical issues that we have, we have had a spectacular year um, with growth on the Bob and Sherry show. We've had um, a big uptick in the number of folks who are joining us, not just with uh, Happy Hour here, but that certainly has been the case, but also with the show. Um, and thank you, whether you're listening on the podcasts or uh, hopefully on uh, radio stations that we love across the United States that have supported us. We uh, just got some information and um, the growth has been fantastic. So it's a wonderful thing for um, people like us who have been together for so many years together that um, you're still backing us, you're still with us, and we thank you deeply. Have a great night tonight. You all be careful as the weekend approaches. And we'll see you next time.